Hey dear, welcome back to another ROM um, review of Redmi Note 8. So this time we are reviewing uh, Enshined OS, uh, which is the latest version of it, and it's running on Android 12. So I haven't done any review of ROM, uh, I think, uh, of a month now, because I have been using Pixel Plus UI, which is a extremely good ROM. So I have been using that ROM, but recently I just uh, wanted to try this ROM, which is Enshined OS. So so i have installed it like two three days ago and i'm using it so i have something to say about this rom and so i'm making this video and usually what i do i i use my phone to record the video but today i'm doing a uh, skin recording of my phone as as uh, when i do the recording with my phone i miss many things because the skin cannot be recorded properly so i can't show you properly so that that's why i'm doing this way so first of all uh, let's check the android version of our phone although it can't be shown in this rom properly i don't know why there is no way to show so as you can see the system update is running on android 12 and if i press here there will be nothing and also if i go to about section you will see nothing here so there is no way to show what's what version of security patch level it's running on or what's OS it's running on so it's quite confusing so that's it for the android version and other things so let's go and see what we are getting with this rom so basically i didn't have any issue with installing this rom it booted properly last time i tried to boot this rom and it didn't boot like last update maybe it fixed in the latest version so that's why i didn't face any problem and it's booted properly and everything is working fine here but you will not get much apps with this rom you will get uh, i think pico g apps with this rom and it's quite good rom actually but it's not the best one it has some problem but uh, those are not major problem if you are not into it so first of all uh, the apps we are getting here we are getting xiaomi camera so let me show you so let's take a photo with the camera app so as you can see here this keyboard let's take a photo so it's work as you can see here everything works fine and the, the picture is clear and let's uh, show the front camera and it switched the front camera and it's working so as you can see front camera is also working on this uh miy camera so sometimes uh the miy camera with custom rom doesn't work properly like it's close itself you can't record video but in this rom this miy camera is working properly and you will get a few apps like uh, your gmail or then you will get your Google Chrome and other things, but I have disabled uh, Google and Google Chrome apps because I don't really use Google Chrome. And these are some apps which I have restored using the Swift Backup. If you don't know how to use Swift Backup, I, have, I actually didn't make any dedicated video about it, but it's quite good ROM, a good app to backup your apps and apps data if you have Magisk installed. So it's quite good ROM. So I have been using this, uh, using actually for a year or two, this app and it's never disappoint me it works every time it's fine and let's go about the about the visual and other things so if i go to the setting as i said i love subtle features if you put in the rom because i'm um, i am fed up i like it's it's there is no way that we are not getting any new roms all the roms are based on aosp so i don't really like much asp rom i like uh, a little bit features a little bit customization which are not available in most of the roms nowadays which you used to get like if you used to use a cyanogen mod or other things they have a tons of features but nowadays all gone so i quite disappointed about this kind of thing but still uh, whatever we are getting with this rom I'll, i will try to show you so this rom has some features certain features but it's confusing so if you try to um or change something here and here uh you have to many things actually so as you can see here there are a lot of options like battery animation and power menu and many thing many modes there so you can go each of these and you can try yourself like add-ons and everything but it's quite confusing because they are not in uh good uh good layout like i used to get with other rooms so it's quite confusing so you can change even the ui of the settings app so i am using the one ui one ui type of settings uh layout as you can see here but still 
uh, you if you want another type you can change it here i think maybe is there somewhere else somewhere here i don't know where i have changed it but it should be somewhere here and another things like if i go to the security uh, you are getting face unlock and fingerprint unlock but let me show you the face unlock speed it's terrible actually so if i close my phone and turn it on so as you can see it's not uh, it takes about two seconds to unlock the phone but if i use the fingerprint it's quite fast as you can see the fingerprint is quite fast but if you are using face unlock it's terrible even in low light oh my goodness and now i'm using my light here still it cannot recognize my face properly but still if you are using fingerprint it's quite okay it's decent speed so nothing to worry about that other than that there is nothing new here because as i said it's based on iosp and another thing is that like if you use hotspot uh, to share your internet yeah you have the five gigahertz band here some isp rom provide these features but some doesn't but in this rom you are getting it so mm, nothing to complain but the most uh the problem big problem of this rom is that it's sluggish so as you can see here it it's not like fluent like other rom it's a little bit choppy uh if i want to show you uh what i'm talking about so let's see in my i mean my facebook account so this is a page of uh marketplace facebook marketplace um, i have to use this a lot so i look for the phones so as you can see here if you scroll it will take it you can't scroll properly so as you can see here you have to use your finger and it, it doesn't work properly so that's the point it's not only here it's in many apps or many uh uh, many apps you will get this kind of problem like if i am I'm, I'm using any kind of like shopping apps sometimes i get this kind of thing also there so let's see now we are getting or not as you can see it's quite choppy here this rom in this app also but in facebook uh, it's quite major but if you are using only marketplace so in the marketplace you will get this kind of problem but if you are not using it so you don't have need to worry about that so then uh, another thing is like I have installed the gcam here so this is the gcam i use always use so it's quite good one and i use all of this like so it's working just fine as you can see i can take photo so it took the photo and everything works fine on this rom so most of the time what i got that if you install gcam on uh, some custom rom the gcam doesn't work or a specific version of gcam only work so but in this rom it's working fine and rather than that i don't have any complaint about this rom the battery backup is not really bad or it's not actually good also it's something in between and it's also has some problem with i think network i don't know but it's it i doesn't see it uh, now when i have installed it it was not connecting with 4g network but later on it's like it took five minutes to do its thing and it's it's working fine so now whenever i open the thing as you can see it's lte so it's working just fine i have no issue with that but i don't know about volte so it's about the career and other things about country region and other things so i don't really know about volte so it's you have to check it and this is a quite decent rom if you are as i said there are a few bugs here and there but it's a custom rom so it's basically if you are using a custom rom you will get few bugs here and there but still it's quite good rom and there are features their cam camera is working everything is working just fine and you are getting a uh, decent battery backups not not extremely good but it's decent and everything works that the main thing is it, everything works so there is no force close application or anything like that everything works fine so that's it for today for enshine rom so so in China OS, if you want to install this ROM, I'll put the custom ROM link in the description box. You can download it from there. And in the installation process is quite simple. It adds uh, my old ROM. So I have shown it in, I think, many videos. So you can check one of those things and you can try to figure it out how to install it. And about the installing the firmware. So I always recommend you to flush the firmware before installing any custom ROM because it helps so if you some actually it's not required sometime for some roms but if you install it you will not face any kind of problem like bootloop issue so some some rom does require 
the firmware file which is not big actually it's like 60 mb just flash it after that you can flash your custom bomb so that's it for today and maybe this is uh enough for this rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time